Good afternoon. Happy Monday. I'm meteorologist Diane Phillips and these cloudy skies are going to be kind of the new theme now that the cold air has been unlocked and it's making its way. Well, it's already here, so it's just kind of settling in at home, but the cloudy conditions. I'm hoping to get a little more sun before we wrap up our Monday. But however, these clouds with the cold weather, they're going to be pretty stubborn. You will find that we do have the chance to clear out as we head into the overnight, but still cloudy skies are going to return once again. So it's just a few breaks in the cloud cover that we'll have to see at least to be on. Hopefully we can get some sun, but overall, like I said, you're going to find that these cloudy skies are very stubborn. So what we're looking at, though, is this cold air. And thankfully, though it has that lake effect machine firing on all cylinders, it's just not as strong. So you will see just a little bit of development there along the east side of Lake Michigan and even Lake Huron, giving our friends in Canada a little bit of snowfall to talk about. But you can see that there's another system that's off towards our west. Well, we are going to be watching yet another system to bring us the chance for a little bit of snowfall. But before we get there, temperatures have definitely been cooler earlier in the day. We were in the 30s, just barely making it into the 40s, and that's going to be a very similar trend for much of this week. We're forecasting highs to be in the upper 30s to lower 40s as we get through a good chunk of the work week. And then Friday, it's a big drop. Highs are just going to be into the lower 30s, right around the freezing mark. The last time we saw a weekend as cold as this one was back in February. So as far as the timing of Saturday and Sunday and getting some cooler temperatures, it's been a while, but I'm seeing a trend that doesn't mean that we're going to be locked in that phase for a while. Monday, we're into the upper 30s, still cold. Remind you that average temperatures at this point in the year should be in the lower 50s. So when we're talking 30s, you can see we're not there, but it looks like we could get a little bit closer to it as we head into the week of Thanksgiving. Yeah, this Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday, all leaning up to Turkey Day and you're going to find temperatures are climbing. So hopefully, though, that means good news as far as travel. Of course, once we get a little bit closer to that, we'll be keeping an eye on those roadways to make sure you can get to your travel destinations on time and safely. Now, the hour by hour forecast, we've had a dry Monday for us, so that's a welcome sign for us here to see, well, uh, quite a bit of cloud cover, though nothing falling from those clouds. So it's a chilly one. We have that lighter breeze, kind of not a lot has changed from the weekend besides those big wet snowflakes that we had. We don't have those in for today, but as we head into Tuesday, you're going to find we have a little round of energy roll through. So it is going to bring us a chance for a few scattered rain and snow showers. That's to get us through the morning and into the early afternoon, but it's really that wave that kind of amplifies as we head into the evening. So here you'll find after many night that we do see the chance for still some rain and snow showers. Of course, temperatures will be below freezing, so more than likely going to see those big wet snowflakes once again. But a lot of us are actually going to be asleep before this happens. But a lot of this moves on out before the morning commute. So six, seven, eight o'clock, you will still have wet roadways, but I'm not anticipating with surface temperatures to be above that freezing mark for us to see slippery conditions. Of course, keep an eye on the roadways overall and yep, you still could have a little bit of a lingering snowflake by the time you head out Wednesday morning. So just keep that in mind as you head into the middle of this week. But for today, we have the dry weather, hoping to get some of that sun here to work its way in. But like I said, those clouds, hey, they have been pretty tricky. Temperature is going to be into the lower 40s at best. So that's almost 10 degrees below average from where we should be here for the middle of November. Now with the cold air though that's here, that means lake effect and with any little bit of energy that we can get going, we will be talking about some of those snow showers. So we'll have those for the later half of your Tuesday and into Wednesday morning. But by Thursday, just these flurries, that's all because of the Great Lakes. So that's why we're going to be keeping those in your forecast. But then we have dry weather for your Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Though it's going to be a chilly weekend, it's still going to be nice to get out and about because you won't have to worry about any wet weather while you're out there. You will find as we head into that next week, though, that we hold on to the dry conditions. So happy to see that for Monday, Tuesday and already even that Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, as temperatures will be towards 50 degrees, so getting close, maybe a mild turkey day, hopefully a dry one. Of course, like I said, we'll have updates on that Thanksgiving day forecast as it gets closer. So make sure you have the WTO Wall 11 weather app. We'll have updates there on the latest and even regarding the snow for tomorrow, you'll have updates there as well. So make sure you're staying in touch with the WTO Well 11 weather team.